Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. We're back with my friend Tony. We're doing a reshoot because you dramatically increased the power since we shot this. Yeah. So what, well, when we shot it before, what were you making? 430 at the wheels. 430 at the wheels, and it was great. Uh, it ran good, had a lot of power, good burnouts. So now what are you making at the tires? 926 at the tires now. <laughs> and like almost 900 foot pounds of torque, right? Yeah, 850. For any of you guys that didn't see the previous episode, let's let's go through what this build is. Yeah, so, I, so I've owned the car for 17 years. Um, I bought it while I was still, still in the military. Drove it around for a while, and then I want to say after about a year or so, I bought it. It was pretty old school, right? Maroon colored, old Kragers on it, 14 inch Kragers, right. gold yes. interior. Yes. Yeah, so this, everything has been replaced. So it's got the TCI front clip in the front. Yeah. And then I did end up doing the, the connectors and the four link in the rear. Curry nine inch in the, in the back, right? Yeah, so, yeah. So is it TCI uh, four link as well? Yep, it is. Mm -hmm. yep. With all the right tech air right on it. So. And you did, if I remember correctly, you did the shock wave on this, right? Yep, yep all around. I, I, I think it's the only airbag system that makes sense, where you're... It rides like a coilover, but you have the adjustability. You can set that ride height yep. always, yeah. Yep. Yeah, really, really super cool. Will Woods all around? All the way around. And you're manual on this? Manual. Love Real it. booster, so... Love it. It's LS3, is it, right? Yep. Is it a built LS3, or is it... It's a, it's a stock LS3. It's got a stage three cam in it and just uh, the supercharger, I added the headers on it. And then you're friends with the Boost District guys. Yeah. And yeah, Rosh, you know, Rosh had Boost District took care of me. We, we did the whole install, he did the tuning for me, we converted it to uh, E85. Yep. I think that was the big kicker that gave me that extra boost of power that I wasn't expecting, right? Yeah. And this color, is the, didn't you say before this is an original color? It wasn't the original color of this car, but right. this is a GM color, right? Yeah, Willow Green, it's an original GM color for 66 Chevy. Um, very, it wasn't used much on Nova's, it was more like on Impala's, Caprices and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah. when I was painting it, I, 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 just, I took a liking to it. Yeah. Now is this, I forget, Tony, is this one that you've done a, some of the work and then you've had other people do some of the work? So I've done most of the work, right? So obviously paint and body, but even when we did the whole front, you know, my buddies over at Stoker's, we built it over there, but they let me, I was there helping, you know, a lot. I've had a lot of guidance and help throughout it, but yeah. I've done the majority of the work. But you've had your hands on the bulk pretty, of this Pretty much everything, yeah. Am I right when I say that your wife, she's the one that installed the pulley? Yeah, she, she helped install it, so <laughs> she wanted to get her hand in there, right? Let's keep going through it. I forget uh, what wheels you have on here. So these are the, sh the shot wheels. That's right, yes. Shot wheels, 18s and 19s. Uh, you know, the custom two-piece wheels that I had made to kind of fit the car, so. Mm -hmm. So even now, the way it's sitting, even though it's all the way down, I get I get a full radius turn and it won't rub. At this height? At this height. This yeah. is your j bottom? All the way down and it won't, it will not rub. So you can drive it like this way? Probably not a good idea. I might scrape some stuff up, but I could. No, I get it. But you, but you're set to where like if it ever failed on you for right. some reason and you're all the way down, you can you can, can get yourself home. I could. And what tire sizes again do you run here? Uh, two forty fives in the front, and there are three oh fives in the back. I'll, I'll be switching to a three fifteen once I kill these. But yeah, I was gonna say, dude, you're gonna with you yeah. know four hundred plus horsepower more than what you had. I right. mean, you, and even three fifteens. I'm sorry, yeah. you're not. You're gonna spin if, right. if you stand on it, right? So I did, the, the headers are also from TCI. They sell the headers that go with their clip and I mean, they fit right in like a glove, right? So these, they fit right in and did the full exhaust back and then did the, the Black Widow neighbor haters. Oh, right? that's right, yeah. All the way yes. in the back. Now, question for you with, cause I love the, this very stock look. I think it's, I think it's really cool. But now that you've added that much power, do you feel any need to, any safety related stuff like, harnesses or you know a different seat setup or no i i added the the lap belts but i don't i don't drive the car wild right i just it's a cruiser i enjoy it i do get on it every once in a while but i i don't i haven't felt like i'm out of control even with this power mm -hmm. i don't know if it's the ls's but it just it just feels comfortable to drive and yeah i don't have to be on boost right i don't I, can, I drive it hard and it can just be like it was before when we last shot it right it's only until i decide that i want that power that it Right. That we bring it right, up. Right, which is just a little bit extra pressure on it's the right It's even only foot. like half throttle, right? I don't even, like, I, I, haven't, I don't think I've gotten on the car full throttle yet. I just, it's just yeah. too much power. Yeah. It's a manual, isn't it? It is. It's a, it's a, it's got a Tremec five speed. Like I said, you can't, I, I, I welded the stock shifter and stock console, and put the stock console there. So it looks like a factory four speed Muncie car. Yeah, it but does. But it's actually a Tremec uh, TKO 600 in there. That's great. It's a really funny one for me interiors, man, because I do love the, 
the crazy resto mod the, car, right? Where you got 75 grand into an interior, yeah. but now it feels like you stepped into like an AMG car, something very European yeah. oftentimes, you yeah. know? I love that you sit in this car, you know what you're in still, yeah. you know? And more and more I find myself really appreciating keeping a lot of that originality in cars, you know? And uh, But you've done like gauges and stuff, right? Yeah, it's got the Dakota Digital RTX gauges. I'm curious to see the difference from, uh, I mean, I can imagine, jeez, I <laughs> swear to God. Well, dude, let's go drive it, man. Let's do it, let's, let's, let's do, do it. it. Hey guys, by the way, now you notice there's an extra person in the car, Anthony, and uh... Back by popular demand. Okay, I see what you mean. So, if you're mild, you're, you're all motor at that point. Uh, when, does, when does the boost come into play? Probably around 3,000 RPM at the higher gears. Got you, it. you can give it a little bit, you'll feel it. You start hearing the whistle. God, I forgot, this car turns really well. Give it a little love here. You feel it in your, wow. in, your, in your gut? That's like your quarter car product. drives. Not, I know, dude. I'm barely <laughs> touching it's, it's it. Like nothing. Your car drives really nice, though. I, I I don't I don't feel like it drives like it has 900 horsepower. It just doesn't feel like it unless you want it to. I know if it, like like doing like I'm doing, where it's it's mild throttle input. Yeah. It's very, very, very drivable. And then you got top. I think she's getting upset at the sound of your car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear? Do you yeah. see her go like this, and then she rolled up her window? <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel the boost kick in? Yes, <laughs> definitely. It's instant. You and feel I'm it. barely in it. You yeah. know, I mean. You can tell how I'm being very cautious about hitting your accelerator. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of a lot of pedal, a lot of pedal. There's there. a lot there, man. I mean, and if you get on it, you'll you'll break the tires loose instantly. Oh, I'll bet. No, that's why I'm. I mean, as you can tell, I'm being mild on it because I don't want to. Anthony? I don't know if I am, buddy. Jesus. Ah, I mean, dude, holy hell, man, that's, are you used to this yet? Yeah, look at the smile on this kid's face back here. It doesn't even phase him anymore. Surprised is the truth. I mean, I know your car makes 926 friggin' horsepower at the tire, but it's like you can talk about it all day long. It's different when you and it's still not full throttle. Look at this little guy back here. It's still not, <laughs> I'm still kind of babying it. Yeah? Clutch is slipping a little bit because it can't handle the power. Really? So once I get that new clutch, it's really gonna feel the power.
guys heard me say it during the video, but honestly, this is one of my favorite builds we've ever shot. I liked it just as it was before, but now this car is violent. It is a pissed off machine. Absolutely love how this car is set up. I swear if it was mine, I'd daily drive it. And I hope you guys enjoyed those smiles from young Anthony sitting in the back seat, enjoying the hell out of the ride. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for hanging and watching. Later, man.